Sussex sick at heart after shooting on their feet with 72 million pound deal and drop big chance to hit crown. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry would not be able to conduct a part-time royal role while pursuing their Netflix deal due to a conflict of interest. In 2019, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced that they were working to become financially independent and would be taking a step back from the royal family. A statement shared by the couple at the time noted that they planned to split their time between North America and the UK. However, their plans to conduct duties for the firm were dashed as the Queen announced that after many months of conversations and more recent discussions the couple would be stepping back completely from their roles as senior royals in spring 2020. Since quitting royal duties, the couple has gone on to establish new careers including signing deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their deal with Netflix in September 2020 but they are yet to produce any content for the platform. One of the couple's first projects to be announced was a docuseries about competitors involved in the Invictus Games. Prince Harry is expected to appear on camera and be the executive producer for the series, called Heart of Invictus. A spokesperson for the Sussexes confirmed on Monday that Meghan will attend the first couple of days of the competition. The couple are expected to be followed by a Netflix documentary crew throughout the Games. However, one royal fan pointed out that this would be an unfeasible feat if the pair had been granted their initial request to conduct royal duties part-time by splitting their time between America and Britain. The royal watcher pointed out that as the Invictus Games is a charitable foundation and taxpayer funds are used to host the event, there may be a conflict of interest in filming it for commercial for-profit purposes. The user, at Prince underscore Scarf, who calls themselves a Cambridge fan, wrote, a lot of questions about conflicts of interest surrounding Sussex's filming, Invictus Games, as part of their Netflix deal, with it being a charity and taxpayer funds involved in executing the event. Now imagine they were still working royals. This is why being part-time royals couldn't work. Another, Epps Winnick, chimed in to claim it would be a huge conflict of interest due to the couple's self-dealing. Twitter user at Mog1717 said, Her Majesty, and her advisor saw this situation coming years ago and knew it would be untenable, before adding, it was always unworkable because of conflicts of interest like this. While the exact details of the deal have not been disclosed several reports have suggested it could be worth in excess of $100 million, £72 million. Announcing their deal with Netflix, the couple said they wanted to create content that informs but also gives hope. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were blasted by experts for allowing their ethics to crumble and fly away when there are dollar signs in view. This accusation has been issued by Piers Morgan's wife Celia Walden during an interview with GB News' Dan Wooden. She was quoted saying, I think where morality and ethics are concerned, both of these things tend to fly out the window when there's dollar signs. Things get very embarrassing I mean, this is just, been unanimously agreed that it is a preposterous thing to do, she also added. In fact, the only thing that she should be trademarking, she can trademark arrogant, entitled and preposterous because all those things are uniquely her. But this has been around for a while, but it is just so archetypal of her narcissism, just the idea that you can own a word. I do think we have now reached a point where you would think by now we would get used to it, but, I never stop being surprised at how badly both of them messed up what could have been a really easy win for them. Due to COVID, the games were postponed from 2020 to 2021 but will now take place from 16 to 22 April this year. The Invictus Games was where the couple chose to make their first public appearance together almost five years ago. Meghan made her first appearance at an official engagement attended by Harry in September 2017 when she attended the Invictus Games opening ceremony in Toronto, although the pair sat about 18 seats apart. The following day, the pair emerged holding hands to make their first official public appearance together at the wheelchair tennis. Competitors from Team UK said they would like to see Harry and Meghan accompanied by their children Archie and Lilibet at the Games. However, the children are not expected to be in attendance. 